During the Andy Griffith Show's third season, the classic sitcom introduced a character that went on to become one of its most iconic. That was Gomer Pyle, portrayed by an amateur comedic actor named Jim Neighbors. Although Jim was a relatively inexperienced performer at the time, Andy Griffith stuck his neck out for Jim after seeing him perform at a nightclub. The producers originally wanted a veteran TV actor named George Lindsay, but Andy's insistence saw Jim get the part instead. George was later hired on to play Gomer Pyle's cousin, though George was so mad about having lost out on the part that he refused to talk to Jim for several years after. Join Facts First as we explore why George Lindsay resented Jim Neighbors for years over the Gomer Pyle role. The Andy Griffith Show was a beloved comedy series that brought a great many memorable characters to the small screen, but some of these characters stand out over the others. One of the most memorable was Gomer Pyle, who went on to have his own spin-off show that lasted 150 episodes. Given how much of a big deal Gomer Pyle came to be, it stands to reason there may have been some strong emotions involved when it came to casting. As it turns out, the casting of Gomer Pyle was the start of a Hollywood feud that lasted for years. As fans are well aware, the role ended up going to a relatively inexperienced comedic actor named Jim Neighbors. The character was introduced during the Andy Griffith Show's third season and went on to become a fairly big part of the series. During the fourth season, another character was introduced, Goober Pyle. Goober was a family member of Gomer's, he was his cousin, and he proved a perfect comic sidekick to the lovable character. While the characters of Gomer and Goober Pyle may have gotten along fairly well on screen, and the actors who played them had notable comic chemistry, those two actors actually couldn't stand each other in real life. Although it ended up being the relatively inexperienced performer Jim Neighbors who was cast in the role of Gomer, the role was supposed to initially go to George Lindsay. George was an established TV actor who had a working relationship with the producers of The Andy Griffith Show, and he had essentially been promised the role of Gomer. It wasn't until Andy was brought into a nightclub by a mutual friend to watch one of Jim Neighbors' comedic performances that the star of the series began to think George Lindsay wasn't right for the part. When Andy came to the producers to suggest the relatively unknown Jim Neighbors be hired, they initially balked, but Andy was able to convince them to watch Jim perform. Jim Neighbors embodied the role of Gomer Pyle. Once the producers of The Andy Griffith Show were convinced to watch Jim Neighbors perform, they subsequently joined Andy in his conviction that Jim was the right man for the part. Jim had a naturally innocent demeanor that was perfect for the role. While George Lindsay could have certainly performed well in the role, he didn't embody it in the same way as Jim. The producers were then forced to deliver the bad news to George, and the veteran TV actor didn't take it very well. Andy Griffith had initially been hesitant to join his friend at Jim Neighbors' show, but he ended up being glad he went through with it. If he hadn't joined, George Lindsay would have played the part of Gomer Pyle instead of Jim Neighbors. While that would have made George Lindsay happy, it certainly would have altered TV history forever. Before we tell you more about Jim Neighbors and George Lindsay's feud, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Gomer Pyle quickly became a fan favorite character. Gomer Pyle was introduced to the show by way of the third season episode, The Bank Job, and the character quickly became a fan favorite. Though Jim Neighbors wasn't quite as professional as many of his co-stars on the set, though Jim Neighbors wasn't quite as experienced as many of his co-stars, he perfectly embodied the role of the character and his performance clicked with audiences. George Lindsay was watching at home as the episode premiered and he wasn't ignorant of the fact that Jim was delivering a star-making performance. This made George incredibly angry. He felt he should have been the one giving the star-making performance. George apparently got so angry while watching, he got up and kicked his television screen in, professing out loud it was him who should have gotten the part. The producers did try to make things up to George the following season by giving him the role of Goober Pile. While George accepted and put a smile on his face when he showed up to work, deep down he continued to resent Jim Neighbors. Lindsay came on to play Goober Pyle during the fourth season. Although Goober wasn't quite as big of a hit with audiences as Gomer, they grew to embrace him. By the end of the show's run, Gomer and Goober proved a lovable comedic duo that audiences couldn't get enough of. But despite the chemistry that George Lindsay and Jim Neighbors were able to showcase on the small screen, it seems the two never quite got along behind the scenes. Of course, this was as a result of George Lindsay's never-ending grudge. Despite this grudge, he was able to suck it up and make things work when the cameras were rolling. Sadly, this may not have been the best move for George's career. Although The Andy Griffith Show was a success and gave George consistent work for several years, the star found himself pigeonholed in the role of Goober for many years after the series ended. George had taken a role on the series he didn't even want, and that role went on to have a decidedly negative effect on his career. The Two Pile Actors' Fates After the Show 
Once The Andy Griffith Show ended in 1968, George Lindsay was given the chance to reprise the role of Goober Pyle on a spin-off series. That was Mayberry RFD, and it lasted for three seasons, with Goober as one of its main characters. While this gave George consistent work for another few years, it would make it so the actor was even more pigeonholed by the role of Goober. George had gotten his start as an actor in theater. Though he worked on TV for the money, he didn't always enjoy his time on The Andy Griffith Show or the spinoff. While filming, George daydreamed of leaving it all behind and getting back into theater. When Mayberry RFD was finally over, George felt it was time to do that. Sadly, the theater wasn't all that anxious to have the actor back. After all those years, George's time as Goober Pyle had eroded any sense of respect the theatrical crowd had for him. Though George had gotten his start in theater, they refused to see him as anything other than Goober Pyle. While George had been incredibly jealous of Jim Neighbors, things didn't turn out all that much better for Jim. Jim was given his own spin-off series in the form of the aptly titled Gomer Pyle, and that show lasted for 150 episodes. But similar to George, Jim found himself pigeonholed in similar roles to Gomer Pyle for the rest of his working life. Now it's time to hear from you. Who did you like better, Gomer or Goober? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the Join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.